You close your eyes, what do you see? Well, you see the movements of your own mind. So where's your mind going? Try to bring it right here to the breath. <clears throat> it's easiest to see when you have one thing in mind that you're going to stay with. And then as soon as the mind leaves that, then you're going to know it's moved. Otherwise, it's like being in a train station. You're sitting in one train and you look at the train next to you, and obviously one of the two trains is moving, but you don't know which one. It's only if you can see a post connected to the ground that you realize, okay, there's, the, there's something that doesn't move. And then you can tell whether your train is moving or the other train is moving. It's the same way with the mind. If the mind is moving around all the time, it doesn't really get to see, well, what does move and what doesn't move. You need to give it something solid to stay with. This is why we try to develop concentration, so we can see the really subtle movements of the mind. Otherwise, they're very easy to miss. And why is it so important to see them? It's because they shape your life. It's your intentions in particular that move your life in a particular direction. And so you want to see them clearly while they're happening, they're not just on automatic pilot. Because who knows who put the settings in for your automatic pilot. Sometimes greed gets in there and it tinkers with the settings, and sometimes aversion, sometimes delusion. And if you're not paying full attention, you don't know. And then you suddenly find yourself acting on these things, doing these things that you're not really sure why you did them to begin with. So try to bring more attention to the present moment and nail the mind down with the breath. So when it moves, you know it's, got, it's moving, and then you can see, okay, what direction is it going? For the time being, you don't want to go anywhere else but the breath. Keep bringing it back, bringing it back, bringing it back. And this way you begin to be able to read your own mind to understand it. We read Dharma books to get basic ideas, but what you really want to read is your own mind. So you can see where it's creating unnecessary stress, unnecessary suffering for itself. And that way you can learn how to stop. So it's not the case that concentration is one thing and insight is something else. The two have to go together if you really want to know what's going on in the mind and then solve the problems of what's going on in the mind. Both qualities have to be acting in tandem.